Alex Smith, uh, representing sociology. Uh, forgive me if I mispronounce it. Okay, Janae. Uh, Janae. Yes. Janae Poole. I'm a sociology major. I uh, study in uh, family studies. And I chose to do my topic on violent video games on the effect of children. Uh, basically, everybody can relate to video game play. So I've chose to do that. And I did my field work at Port Richmond High School. And it helped me to answer the questions on how playing violent video games may increase someone's um, aggressive behavior, uh, cognition, and emotions. I have reviewed 10 journal articles for my research and it basically described how video games have become one of the favorite activities of children today. 90% um, of the kids ages 8 to 16 play video games and spend more than 5 to 13 hours playing. So um, the sociology and social research in the past few years has been on how does it affect their aggressiveness or emotions and their attitude towards violence. So basically my question is, how does it affect their aggressive um, behavior? Um, by the 1970s, Atari introduced the game Pong, which was, <laughs> everyone knows that, the ping pong version, uh, which was simple in its graphic, um, graphics and largely abstract and rarely involved violence at all. And by the 1980s, arcade games came out, like Pac-Man, and that even began to raise questions on the violent content, you know, the yellow orb, eating goblins and stuff. <laughs> but um, by the 1990s, the face of video games changed dramatically. The introduction of Nintendo, then PlayStation, and Xbox, and now today we have Wii, which is beyond the technology, you know, now in video games. And Today's society um, has conform, conformed in using media and technology and everything as far as the entertainment and education. And many schools and households have incorporated computer games and video games as a learning device. And it does, it is some positive traits of playing video games. It all depends on what type of video games. You know, it, video games can be educational, a social um, thing for children as far as with their peers, entertaining that help to increase their motor skills, creativity, and their attention performance. <laughs> but today, technology has become more advanced and high definition and the complexity, which makes them way more, ex extremely more real life. And um, the negative is it, it causes social isolation, the behavior, the stereotypes, violence and how violence is awfully rewarded in video games, uh, the sexual content and the sexual inappropriate language within the video games. <coughs> Today, violent, um, violent content is one of the major things that's leading video games and 89% of the games contain violent content and many children prefer to play violent video games rather than uh, learning games or sporting games today. And this is where researchers believe that the repeated exposure to real life and real life media and entertainment may alter cognitive, cognitive affective and behavioral process which possibly leads to desensitization and um, due to the active participation within the game. And desensitization is one of the major concerns. Um, major concern is the possibility of too much exposure to violent video games. It may lead to desensitization. And desensitization is a subtle, almost incidental process, which may occur as a result of repeated exposure to real life violence, as well as the media. Emotional desensitization is evident when there is numbing or blunting of emotion, emotion reactions to events which are typically um, elicit a strong response. And cognitive desensitization is when they begin to feel that violence is normal.
studies uh, rarely focus on um, how video games may affect, which video games may affect sex, and they believe that boys are more likely to show aggression because they play more video games, they engage in more video game play than girls, and most games are male oriented and focused towards males, but it says that the high levels of hostility and aggression in, in females may come from, the from them being less familiar or less happy playing them.